Hello everyone! I am gonna be trying my best to fast talk through this video. I am so sorry. I just, I have to go to work and I really shouldn't be filming this video as per usual. You know, what else is new? Nothing. My life really never changes. I'm always in a hurry. I'm always in a rush because I end up cuddling too much with Galileo in bed and then I realize shouldn't have done that but I mean he's just so cute I can't help it anyways it is the end of August it's been one of those months where when I think about August I'm like where did it go but then I'm looking at some of these products that I put in my pyramid for the month and I'm like I feel like I did that video eight years ago I am not ready for September I am not ready for school to start up again I was in summer classes all summer and I only got about a week of a break and that week of break I've been working a lot so Wonderful. Otherwise, I don't know, another month? Another roundup of beauty products here that I have to share with you? I actually don't have any like really bad products or anything this month, so really all of these products in the pyramid are good. It's just, you know, a ranking of how good in comparison to each other. So just so you know, little disclaimer out of the way get that done. Oh, and also, I know I'm working on a theme song. I know I got a bunch of lyric suggestions and I kind of liked the, it's the best and worst of beauty. Whether good or bad, I spent my money, right? I thought that was pretty cute. Either way, let me know how you feel about that one. And yeah, let's just dive right into the products. First up, I've got this blush from NARS. This was just a mini sample that I got in a 500 point perk from Sephora quite a while ago. Like I said, none of these products are bad. It's just, you know, okay, I'm not saying this is bad. <laughs> this is the infamous NARS orgasm blush and it's beautiful. It really is. I've been wearing this this month and I've been really enjoying it. It's a good blush. I don't think it's like you need to have it, but like if you do have it, you're not going to be sad about having it. So uh, it's just a pretty typical peachy coral color with gold shimmer laced throughout it. And it looks really pretty on the cheeks. Good lasting power and, you know, it's pigmented and all of those good things that blushes should be. And I really like it and I'm glad I got this for free. So that's that. <laughs> Next up is something that I did a first impression on this month. It was a YouTube made me buy it, so go ahead and take a guess if you want to. Do, 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 do. Were you right? NARS is gonna hate me for putting two of their products at the bottom of my pyramid. It's not like they watch my videos, but it sure as heck is not ever gonna get me any PR samples from them, now is it? <laughs> Anyways, this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. I, you know, this gets all of the hype. It got all of the hype when it came out and it still gets the hype to this day. I do think it's a good concealer. Please, don't get me wrong. I just, I can't recommend this to anybody. It's the fact that it is $29. Really? $30 for this little tube of concealer that everyone says basically runs out in a month or two? Being the broke grad student that I am, I just can't be like, you should really go and spend the $30, aka, you know, you could probably buy a week's worth of groceries for that, but instead you should go buy a concealer. No. Go get a concealer from the drugstore, you'll figure it out, like, it'll do pretty much the same thing. I don't like this underneath my eyes, it says that it's creaseless, but if you watch that video of mine, you will definitely see that it is not creaseless, although granted I do have some of the world's most creasiest under eyes, so, you know, take that with a grain of salt, I guess. It covers up blemishes and dark spots and stuff just fine, it lasts very well, and it goes on creamy, but when you, like, pat it in, it kind of almost feels more powdery, like almost like a cream to powder finish type of a thing. So I mean it's okay. It's an okay concealer. I wasn't disappointed enough with it where I wanted to return it or anything, but am I gonna buy this again? Probably not unless I become a billionaire, in which case I'll probably waste my money on all of the makeup. So that's not really saying much, is it? <laughs> Next up was kind of a happy discovery, and it is this! It is the Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Butter Maximum Moisture Cream. You can slather this on anywhere, basically. <laughs> That's particularly parched. And so, since I just have this little sample tube type thingy, I was like, I don't want to waste this on my body, so I'm gonna use it as a hand cream, because it's the perfect size for a little hand cream, you know what I mean? And I've been loving this! I think it works really well. It is slightly greasy. I put on 
hand cream before I go to bed at night and it's not like I'm ever worried about touching my pillows or anything. But it does have a bit more of an oily finish to it if you want to say that. My mom gave this to me randomly. And then also one of my friends here on YouTube, April or Puri from Blushing Biddies, go check her out. I will link her below as always. I absolutely adore her and we've become good friends because of YouTube. She actually sent me a care package not too long ago and filled it with a bunch of extra goodies that I absolutely did not deserve but I am oh, so touched and she also put in a tube of this so <laughs> I have two tubes of this now and I'm so happy about it because like said I think it does a great job moisturizing and then also what I really love is the scent. It just smells so good. You definitely get smacked with the lemon citrus kind of a smell at first, but it's got this undertone of like fresh cut grass almost that just mmm like earthy delight and I just I really like that kind of a combination and think it smells fabulous and yeah I've been really enjoying this. <laughs> Alright, so last thing on the bottom of my pyramid here, I have got this L'Oreal Evercream Sulfate Free Moisture System Nourishing Leave-In Spray with no heavy waxes, bunch of hydration and botanicals, blah blah blah. If you've watched my channel even a little bit, I feel like you've probably seen the same line of products in terms of shampoo and conditioner. Did that? I don't think that sentence made any sense. All of my foreign, non-native English speakers, I'm so sorry. Even the native English speakers, they were probably like, what did you just say? <laughs> I have the shampoo and conditioner from this line of products, the L'Oreal Evercream. I was in Target one day, I needed a new leave-in something or another, oil, whatever. I was in a rush. I was also picking up another bottle of shampoo and conditioner, and I saw this, and I was like, I love the shampoo and conditioner. I bought like 18 bottles of those. I may as well give this a shot. And I've been really liking this. Is this like the be all end all of leave in conditioners? No. But I really like the smell of it. It's just a really nice vanilla kind of a smell. It works really great when you get out of the shower, just spritzing it in and letting it detangle your hair. And then also, <laughs> please don't let my hair today be the judge because this is like three day old hair. I really need to take a shower. But I really do feel like this has been making my hair really just silky and soft and nice feeling. So I really have been enjoying this. Give it a shot. Like said, I don't think it's gonna like blow your mind and like make you want to tell all of your friends and your bald boyfriend to go buy this, but you know, it's worth a shot in any case. <laughs> Alright, second tier of the pyramid here. I've got a lip combination that I've been wearing a lot. And no, it's not what I'm wearing today because that would just be way too convenient, right? <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but basically I've got my Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Lovesick and then also my Maybelline Baby Lips in Pink Shock. This was like from the Electrix collection or something. You can still get it. These two are great on their own, but they are such a fantastic combination layered together. I mean, they're basically the exact same shade, just, you know, the different formulas, the so different pigmentation and whatnot. The Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain is gonna give you that stain and then also a really intense punch of color. And then the Baby Lips layered on top. First off, it just smells delightful. It smells like fruit punch or something. And then also, it just gives your lips even a little bit more color. Also, this really juicy kind of a finish to it. You just... Mmm, someone's gonna want to be suckling on your lips when you are wearing this combination. I can almost guarantee it. You can see in the swatches I did on my hand, I did the baby lips first on the left and then the Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the middle, and then I did, you know, the balm stain and then the baby lips on top, and you can just see the difference that it provides and just the juiciness. I like big butts and I cannot lie. I feel like if that song were written about lip products, it would be talking about these because they're juicy, like like a big booty. Does that... I'm just gonna move right along. Next up here on the pyramid, I have got a mascara and it is the Makeup Forever Professional Paris Smoky Extravagant Dramatic Impact and Graphic Precision. Whew. This is part of the little birthday kit that you can get from Sephora for your birthday this year. So you get this and then a little baby Makeup Forever lipstick. 
and so I finally got around to trying the mascara and I think I'm pleasantly surprised you guys at first I wasn't so great eh, it's okay but I've been really growing to enjoy it for you know what it is and everything the wand is terrifying <laughs> when I first opened this up it was just like wow is it too much for me to say it's kind of I can't can I say this? You know when you get into like the weird part of YouTube and it'll like come up with like horses mating videos or something and you are just it's like four in the morning so your judgment is all sorts of wrong and you click on it and you see the horses dingling and you just weren't expecting it like you knew it was gonna be large but like Wow! <laughs> so I feel like that's what this mascara was like. The wand is crazy. I've never seen a mascara wand like this and it kind of looks like those little miniature trees, you know, for when people build like miniature railroads and like you need to do the scenery and stuff. I don't know. So it's really scary to put this on, but I do think that it provides really nice length to the lashes. Let's see if I can. I've got it on my top lashes today and you can just see it just, it it gives really nice length, I think, anyways. It gives a little bit of volume, not the most volume, but I mean, it definitely does give a little something something to your lashes. I don't curl my lashes. I am very lucky in the sense that my lashes are very naturally curled, but this definitely holds the curl. It doesn't weigh my lashes down at any point during the day, and it doesn't flake or smudge or anything, and I just think it looks really nice. Am I gonna go buy the full size? Eh, I don't know, because I don't really like spending my money on high-end mascaras. I'd rather just get a mascara from the drugstore, because I feel like drugstore mascaras are good on their own. But I do think this is really nice, so if you're into high-end mascaras, definitely give it a shot, and if anything, definitely go tell Sephora it's your birthday and get this if you haven't already, slash if they don't already know when your birthday is, in which case just wait you know for the next few months here you'll get it eventually like I said I've been really enjoying this and it's really easy to take off so that's a plus too next up on the second tier of my pyramid the last thing on the second tier here <laughs> rhymes. I've got a Maybelline color tattoo. This is from the Leather Collection and it's in the shade Creamy Beige. This this thing is beautiful you guys. It really is just a gorgeous kind of a light brown slash kind of taupe. It's got a little bit of purple in there. It's also got this kind of a golden undertone to it and if you're looking really hard aka no one but you is gonna notice it's almost got like a gold sheen to it like a reddish coppery sheen and it's beautiful. I'm pretty sure the leather line of these tattoos is permanent. I don't think it was a limited edition thing so I'm pretty sure you can get your hands on this. I just I really think this is a great one. It's it's definitely more slippery compared to some of the tattoos. I don't want to say it's oilier because I know it's going to scare some people off, but it does have an oilier texture, but it performs the same as any of the other tattoos that I've tried. I still have to wear a primer underneath because these just they're gonna crease on me anyways if I don't. I really love the color. I think it's great just on its own for a really subtle look. I also think it's great layered underneath eyeshadows. I do have it on today, but like I said, it's underneath eyeshadow, so you really can't see it, but it does make a bit of a difference. So I really have been enjoying this, and I think it's a great just kind of a nude staple to have in an eye makeup collection. So definitely check this out if you can. We're on the second to the top tier of the pyramid. I wanna dance with my hands, but I've got the products in them and I want you to guess. So, it was a YouTube made me buy it. Can you guess? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Oh, did you get it right? This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. I have mine in the shade Fair Honey, which is for fair skin with peach undertone. And then I also included the Air Buki brush because you know, you're apparently supposed to use it with the foundation, and I have it, and I have been enjoying it. So I was really scared to try this foundation because it's a mineral foundation. I was pleasantly surprised. I am wearing it today. I've been wearing it all month since I bought 
bought it and I really like it. It's not completely sweat proof. I mean if you get really 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 sweaty like I do when I'm at work because we don't have air conditioning right now because they hate me. My forehead is where I get the sweatiest and so I'm constantly wiping my forehead. It's not gonna last. Nothing would last through that. But otherwise it does stay put. I think it just gives a really nice natural you know not too matte not too dewy kind of a finish. I personally wouldn't call this a full coverage foundation. I would say it's a light to medium coverage, you know? You can build it up, but I just, I really like it. The little mesh delivery system that it's got going on there, it definitely helps keep things clean, you can see. There's really not that much mess involved. And the Air Buki brush, I just think it's great. It's so dense, it's so soft. I mean, I haven't washed this once. Uh, which is probably going to skeeve some of you out, but I mean you can hardly tell it looks brand new because it really does put the foundation on your face rather than get sucked into the bristles there. The one thing about the brush, I don't know if it's just my brush or if it's Galileo, it smells like Galileo farted on this brush. <laughs> Like, I don't know why, and like, he can't get to my brushes. There's no way he could have like scooted his butt right into my makeup corner and farted on my brush. But it smells like Galileo fart. I don't know. Has anyone else had that problem with the brush? Maybe it is him. Something to note, but yeah, I really have been enjoying this little system here, and you know, if you've been considering buying it, at least give it a shot, and if you don't end up liking it, you know, you just return it to Sephora anyways. Get your money back. Yeah, that's that. I've been really enjoying this foundation. <laughs> Could you hear them laughing? I don't know. Silly people moving into my building. I'm gonna hate you. Second to the top on my pyramid here is kind of an unconventional beauty product type thing, but it's something that I finally discovered works for a certain thing, and I'm very happy about it. I got some Neosporin. Now, if you've seen my what's in my bag, my updated what's in my bag tag, you would know that I've had my Neosporin. I use it on cuts and things, you know? It's just kind of a staple to own Neosporin, I think. Well. People have been commenting since I started YouTube saying that apparently Neosporin works really great on blemishes. Yeah, it does! Never, never did I ever think that was true, really. But at the beginning of this month, I had a few really, really bad, under the skin, painful, just rock type blemishes. Like it really did feel like there was a little pebble just like stuck underneath my skin. They were painful, they were awful, I hated them. Well, I decided, you know what, now's the time. I'm gonna try putting Neosporin on this. Boom! Seriously, within like two, three days, that thing was gone. Gone! What? Plus the healing pro- like, the scabbing went away, it didn't leave any sort of a scar, I just- so impressed. I already knew I liked Neosporin, but now I'm probably gonna say I love it because- excuse my language, but hot damn. <sighs> I'm so happy to have finally listened to you guys telling me to try this. <laughs> Alright you guys, we're at the top of the pyramid, pyramid. You ready? Boom! I bet you forgot I even owned this, didn't you? Yes, this is my Naked 3 palette that I got for Christmas last year. And I'm just getting around to really using it. I know, I'm terrible. And so I was like, you know what, now's the time. I need to start trying out these shadows. And they're beautiful, you guys. They really are. Like I said, I know this palette is yesterday's news. I know. It's old. You don't care. But it's so pretty. You should care. Urban Decay shadows, they are so beautiful. And I personally, you know, with green eyes, using pinky purpley shades like this just poof, makes your eyes pop. I do have this on my eyes today. I've been wearing it pretty much every single day. I love Strange, Dust, Limit trick, nooner, liar, factory, mugshot. I use like all of these shadows and you can hardly tell because they are so pigmented you just need a little dab and I just Ugh. I love this palette. I really do. Y'all should let me know if you are interested in me still doing like a tutorial. I know I said in my Christmas <laughs> video that I was planning on doing a video with three looks from this palette because it's the Naked 3 palette and I just thought that was super cheeky and I never got around to doing that. So you should let me know if you still think it's relevant, if you still would like that, and if you would, I will definitely get around to filming that this time, but if not, then I'll just forget about it like I already did. Alright you guys, so that is it. That was my best and worst of beauty for August of 2014.
14. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found some good products to maybe try out for yourself. Maybe, you know, you want to avoid some of these products, even though I really like them. You know, you do you. Go, girl. Well done. I've got to go to work now, so I'm going to sign off here and just say I hope you all had a wonderful summer. If you are going to school, you can do it. I'm going with you, so sucks, but uh, we can do it together. So here's to the start of another great school year. I love you guys so much. I hope you're all doing well, and until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!